A call was made in Germany regarding the launch of a rocket attack on Russia's Ministry of Defense building. Russia's Ministry of Defense building, or the headquarters of the country's intelligence service in central Moscow, are legitimate targets that should be attacked. The deputy chairman of the German Parliament's Oversight Committee, Roderich Kieswetter, has stated. The lawmaker, who is a former German Army General Staff Officer, insisted that Ukraine should take the war to Russia. Ukraine should be given the opportunity to take the war to the Russian territory. Kai Sweater told a talk show on state broadcaster ZDF, noting that Defense Minister Boris Pistorius has already called for the same in April 2023. The only thing I will add from my side is that it is also necessary to attack the Russian Ministry of Defense or the Intelligence Service, the MP said. It is absolutely clear that this is not about civilian targets and not about people, but about explaining to the Russian population that they are the aggressors, he added. When asked by the host of the show whether Kai Sweater thought that the attack on Moscow would be rational, the politician responded that those were Pistorius's words. To attack Moscow with Taurus missiles? The host asked, no, now you are putting words in my mouth. No, if within the framework of the agreement we oblige Ukraine to use missiles only in the occupied territories, then they will act according to this principle. Kai Sweater argued, the calls for attack on Russian government buildings come amid the latest diplomatic row between Moscow and Berlin following the leak of an audio recording in which German military officers discussed a potential attack on the Crimean bridge. Several of Germany's allies have argued Berlin to drastically improve security measures after audio of Bundeswehr military officials discussing an attack on Russia's Crimean bridge were leaked. RT editor-in-chief Margarita Simonian last week released a transcript and audio recording of what was claimed to be a conversation between four senior German military officials. They could be heard discussing deliveries of Taurus long-range missiles to Kiev in a way that would help them to maintain plausible deniability when it comes to Berlin's involvement in the conflict. The conversation also suggested the presence of foreign military personnel on the ground in Ukraine. The German military has confirmed that the conversation was intercepted and a probe into the leak is underway. NATO responds to Putin's latest nuclear weapon threats. Representatives of the Russian Federation have been constantly threatening with nuclear weapons for the past two years, but it's about psychological intimidation rather than actual intentions, states NATO Deputy Secretary General Mircha Joanna. We have seen such use of nuclear threats by Russian leaders for at least two years since the war in Ukraine began. And this comes from a nuclear superpower like Russia, the statement reads. According to him, this is extremely irresponsible because when possessing such weapons, restraint is also necessary. NATO believes that this is part of their arsenal for psychological pressure and intimidation. Joanna has said that the statements of the Russian president Vladimir Putin are based on the logic of psychological intimidation rather than real intentions. We do not see a direct threat of Russia using such weapons. However, such statements are very dangerous as they undermine trust in the field of nuclear weapons. Russia knows the consequences of such a development, says the NATO deputy secretary general. Joanna also adds that this is largely the same arrogant way of attacking the West and describing the war that Putin started in Ukraine as a war of civilizations, or to justify the claim that the West is supposedly trying to destroy Russia, which NATO called complete nonsense. On February the 29th, Russian President Vladimir Putin addressed the Federal Assembly of the Russian Federation. The Kremlin chief, in particular, began to boast about the weapons Russia has including missiles capable of carrying a nuclear payload. He threatened to demonstrate the intercontinental ballistic missile Sarmat, allegedly capable of flying 18,000 kilometers. The State Department, it was said that the US had already warned Russia about the consequences of using nuclear weapons. Threats from Putin are irresponsible. Russia waging new hybrid war against Georgia. President Zurabishvili Despite failure or because of it, Russia has launched a new hybrid war against Georgia using all forms of weapons, stated the president of Georgia, Salome Zorabishvili. 
According to her, Russia continues to wage a hybrid war against Georgia using all its tools. Speaking about the challenges facing Georgia in 2023, the president of Georgia recalled the war in Ukraine. Russia could not break Ukraine. Indeed, it failed to undermine the unity and solidarity of Europe and even strengthened it. Despite failure or because of it, Russia has started a new hybrid war against Georgia for which it uses all forms of weapons. Zora Bishvili said, she also emphasized that Russia's plan to turn the Ochamchira port into a military base aims to shift the confrontation to the Black Sea into their territorial waters, thereby creating a threat to the strategic perspective of the Black Sea. Zora Bishvili spoke about the declaration of mobilization in the occupied territories as well as the steps taken toward annexation, mentioning the capture of the Ochamchira port, the state residence in Bitsivinti, and the Babushera airport in Sukumi. According to her, constant intimidation, persecution, kidnapping, and killing of residents continue along the occupation line. The official authorities of Georgia consider Abkhazia and South Ossetia as territories occupied by Russia. Earlier, the head of the occupation administration of Abkhazia, Aslan Bzania, claimed to have reached an agreement with Russia to establish a base on the region's territory where the Black Sea Fleet will be stationed. However, the Parliament of Georgia decided not to consider a resolution condemning the plans of the Russians to build a base for the Black Sea Fleet in occupied Abkhazia.